in this question the side of an equilateral triangle is given as 3.5 and we have to find out its perimeter so it's an equilateral triangle this indicates that all the sides are equal so if abc is a triangle it implies that ab bc and ca are equal to each other so one side is given 3.5 so since all the sides are equal in an equilateral triangle we can say that ab will also be 3.5 cm and ac will also be 3.5 cm now the question here is to find the perimeter now perimeter of a triangle is actually the sum of the three sides of the triangle in this case the side is given 3.5 which means that the perimeter will be 3.5 plus 3.5 plus 3.5 or 3.5 multiplied by 3 so in this case what are we going to do we are going to add these numbers so 5 10 15 the total is 15 5 and 1 carried over so 3 6 9 and 10 and the decimal is placed here right below this so we get the answer as 10.5 the unit will be in centimeters now instead of a triangle we could have been given a rectangle and we could have been given some dimension let's say we are given a rectangle and uh, the length is 2.8 and the breadth is 1.2 centimeter each and the question is again find out the perimeter of this rectangle now in this case the figure from triangle has changed to a rectangle the re perimeter formula for a rectangle is 2 bracket l plus b this is also implying the same thing that we are adding the four sides of the rectangle but by formula we can say it is twice of length plus twice of breadth or 2 bracket l plus b so we can say this is twice of length is 2.8 the breadth is 1.2 so this is going to be 2 when i have solved this 2.8 and 1.2 i will add this 2.8 and 1.2 we are going to get 8 and 2 is 10 so 0 and 1 carried 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1 is 4 the decimal comes right below this so we get 4.0 or we can write it simply as 4 because after decimal the 0 will not have any significance here so if i write here 4 we get 2 multiplied by 4 the result will be 8 centimeter so this is how we add two decimals in the same way we can also subtract decimals for example if you are given subtract 6.2 minus 1.1 we are going to write 6.2 here and 1.1 here we will subtract 2 and 1 we get 1 6 minus 1 we get 5 so 5.1 will be the result on subtraction of 6.2 and 1.1 so addition and subtraction of decimals are quite simple multiplication and division we have already seen and all these can be used in various problems to get the accurate value